Hello, my name is Jessica, and I'm a neuroscientist at the University of Pennsylvania. As my friends told you in our last few videos, as neuroscientists, we study the brain and how the brain makes you do the things you do, from controlling your movements, to helping you make decisions, to helping you hear, see, smell, touch, and taste the world. You heard from Rebecca about the importance of your senses. I love food. I love cooking, baking, eating food, so today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite senses, taste. I want you to close your eyes and think about your favorite food. My favorite food is ice cream. What's your favorite food? If I were to ask you how your favorite food tastes, what would you say? Sweet? Salty? Chocolatey? Spicy? While there are so many words we can use to describe the foods we eat, your mouth can actually only sense five different types of taste. The first taste is sweet. What foods do you think are sweet? Some of my favorites are cookies, candy, fruit, and of course ice cream. The second taste is salty. What foods do you think are salty? Some of my favorites are pizza, soup, and potato chips. The third taste is sour. What foods do you think are sour? Some foods that I think are sour are lemons, some pickles, and yogurt. The fourth taste is bitter. What foods do you think are bitter? Some foods that I think are bitter are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, coffee, and dark chocolate. The fifth and final sense is umami. What's umami? Umami foods are savory. Some examples of umami foods are meat, tomatoes, mushrooms, and cheese. So what do I mean when I say there are only five tastes? In the last video, Rebecca talked about structure and function. What structure or body part do you think helps you taste your food? Your tongue. The function of your tongue is to taste your food. How does your tongue taste your food? If you look in a mirror and stick out your tongue, you will see that your tongue has these tiny little dots on it. These little dots are called taste buds and they help you taste your food by sending electronic signals similar to the signals that Nitsan showed you from your mouth to your brain. There are five different types of taste buds, one that detects sweet, one that detects salty, one that detects sour, one that detects bitter, and one that detects umami, the same five tastes we already talked about. So how can we have sweet and salty foods, like chocolate-covered pretzels, or sour and sweet candies. Most foods are taste by more than one taste bud. If salty taste buds send signals to your brain at the same time as sweet taste buds, then you know you're eating something salty and sweet. So let's take a closer look at your taste buds. In order to look at my taste buds, I took some blue food coloring and I put a little bit on my tongue using a Q-tip. If you don't have blue food coloring, you can also eat a blue candy like a lollipop or a Jolly Rancher. If you had a hard time seeing the dots on your tongue before, now that your tongue is blue, they should be easier to see. Some people are better at tasting than others. That's because some people have more taste buds. People with a lot of taste buds are called super tasters. They're usually really good at tasting bitter foods. For example, many super tasters don't like grapefruit juice. While we're focusing on just one sense today, taste, it's important to remember that the senses all work together. Have you ever noticed that your foods taste funny when you have a cold, especially when you have a stuffy nose? That's because your nose also helps you taste your food by smelling the food that's in your mouth. Your nose can also send signals to your brain while you're eating candy to tell your brain that it smells something sweet. 
When you have a cold, your nose can't help your brain figure out what you're eating, so foods taste different. Today, my sister Sarah has offered to help me demonstrate the importance of your nose and your tongue working together. This activity is called the Skittles Taste Test. You can also play this game if you have gummies or jelly beans or another food that comes in a few flavors. Sarah is going to close her eyes and plug her nose. No? <laughs> I'm going to show you what color Skittle I'm feeding her. Now hold out your hand, Sarah, and eat the Skittle. She's going to have to guess what flavor she's eating without smelling it. What flavor do you think it is? Uh... Apple. Then she's going to have to open her nose or unplug her nose and tell me now what she thinks the taste is. Mmm. Now it's like orange. <laughs> That's <Wow>. correct. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah, for helping with the demonstration. As you can see, when her nose was plugged, she had trouble detecting what the flavor was. She thought it could be apple. But when she unplugged her nose, she clearly could tell that the taste was orange, which as you saw was the flavor that I fed Sarah. If you want to try the Skittles game at home, just find Skittles, fruit snacks, or anything that comes in a few flavors. Lay them out in front of you, and then close your eyes, plug your nose, and pick one up and start chewing it. Try to figure out what flavor it is while it's still in your mouth. Then release your nose so you can smell. Is it easier to taste which flavor you had in your mouth? That's because your sense of taste and smell are linked. So without the sense of smell, it's a lot harder to taste. Now that you've learned about your sense of taste, it's time to color in the brain map. Please color in the taste and smell portion of the brain in purple. This part of the brain is called the gustatory cortex. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video to learn about another sense.